Do you set resolutions for the new year or are they goals? What is the difference between both of them? And where do intentions fit in? By end of this video, you'll not just learn the differences between them, but also the underlying factor that drives you to set them. Let's get started. Hi there, I'm Aparna, your personal coach helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. You know, when I started off on goal setting, these are the exact questions that came to my mind. What is a resolution? What is an intention? What are goals? And how are they connected? Why isn't there a single thing that I can simply follow, you know, straightforward, one single thing? Figures out, it is straightforward. But let me give you a clarity on what the difference is. A resolution essentially is focused around the change. You figure out there's something in your life that needs to change, so you set resolutions around them. For example, I need to lose weight this year or I want to quit smoking this year. The reason people sometimes fail in their resolutions is because they are setting up for a change but are not really prepared for the change. Underlying part of any resolution is that you first figure out what is wrong with you. So you're focusing on the negative and God forbid if you deviate, you feel guilty, you feel ashamed and ultimately feel like a failure. Intentions though are at a higher framework. When you set intentions, you're already at I am enough stage. So you're starting out positive and you move forward without any attachment to the outcome. We can call intentions as a commitments we give ourselves and we commit only when we find value in it, isn't it? The moment you're committed, consistency comes into your life and which is the reason why when you set intentions, you feel energized, you feel fulfilled and have lesser chances of you stopping it. And like I said, intentions are set at a higher, deeper conscience and they are underpinned by our goals. And that is where goals fit in. Goals help us grow. When we set goals for ourselves, we believe in achieving something more. More experiences, more opportunities, appreciation, love, happiness, and even money. Goals help you get all of those. And life is a journey that happens between goal setting and goal achieving. You can create goals with your resolutions or with your intentions, whatever works for you. Let me quickly sum it up for you. Resolutions are decisions on the action to do or not to do something. Intentions are the commitments that align to that action and goals focus on the achievables or the outcomes. An action plan, yep, that's there too. An action plan is breaking up your goal into several actionable tasks. So you see, every single concept has a very clear definition and purpose. Which brings me to the point of all this. What is the driving force that is making us set them? I mean, set resolutions or intentions or goals for yourself. What is that driving force? Well, I think it is individual specific. What drives me internally is completely different to what drives you. It's essentially the motivation and inspiration that is making us do the things that we do. For example, helping people who see value and demonstrate trust in me is my driving force behind that action. And that gives me motivation to move forward. So I want to conclude today with this. Each of us have an underlying factor that motivates and inspires us. If you find out what works for you, you will be in a better position to achieve all those things that you set for yourself. And I'll come back next week to talk in depth on identifying these driving forces within you. But for today, I want to know this from you. Do you set resolutions, intentions or goals? What motivates you to achieve them? Do let me know in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms I'm on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button, share it with your friends and of course, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Subscribe and also press the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video.